Hey Demetria, this is a response to your week three summary. Um, to start with, uh, I like your discussion post. I'm, uh, the big problem I've got is that you didn't respond to your, your classmates, um, which is a requirement. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to affect your grade. Um, but uh, your discussion is, is not bad. Um, I would have liked to see more uh, articles brought in and internal citations. Um, remember, we're building a case. We're, uh, you need to support your arguments with, with research, with external sources. So that if somebody says, well, oh, Demetria, you don't know what you're talking about, you go, ah, oh, well, I do know what I'm talking about. And here it is. Um, you know, you've got some good points. I want to really see you drive them home, strengthen them, show people what, you, what, what you've got. Um, I want to address uh, a couple of these to, uh, to start with. Um, the biggest one I like is your discussion in paragraph, what is that, one, two, three, four, in your fourth paragraph talking about uh, commodification and the Barbie. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Barbie has, um, there's been a lot of discussion about Barbie. Um, you know, they've made a lot of changes. They've got now, uh, what, five separate lines of the actual Barbie doll, um, with different body types, but, um, the fact that they have basically kept the skin tones fairly similar, um, under the Barbie name has... Uh, caused some controversy. They've got several different names for essentially Barbie dolls un, uh, with different um, races. The uh, Sh Shani, Shani um, doll is one ex uh, example. Um, so the question comes down to do you, you know, is it better to um, just say, okay, it's Barbie, or it's you've got Barbie and then you've got black Barbie or African-American Barbie, and then you've got some maybe um, Indian Barbie, um, you've got, you know, J Japanese Barbie, um, Native American Barbie, you know, you've got uh, Hispanic Barbie, or do you have Barbie and then um, all of Barbie's friends from different cultures, and you name them all something different, like you've got Skipper and you know, all of Barbie's sisters. Um, I think there's arguments on both sides. Um, and I was curious to see what you guys would say on this. Um, the real interesting question is, or the, the, the part that I find interesting about this, is how do you depict these, inter these different um, body types? Do we try and create a body type that is simply... Um, the Barbie body type, but just with different skin tones, or do we try it, or do they try and create a body type that is, um, is I don't know, different for each ethnicity? Um, I don't know if it matters. It it's you know a fascinating discussion I think that bears uh, bears having, um, and your discussion on this is is interesting where you say the lighter ones had slimmer noses and smaller lips and the darker ones had wider noses and wider lips uh, and they all had wider hips and bigger butts. I do think this is an issue because for little children who have the dolls they might see the separation of the dolls and correlate uh, it to the separation of whites and blacks in real life. Uh, the responses should be uh, should be people realizing that culture and race aren't uh, aren't a game and no matter what you can't buy a race or appropriate a race and then magically become part of a race. That is really, um, you know, a summarization of the problem that a lot of people have with this commodification of race and culture. So you've done a really good job uh, summarizing that. Like I said, the biggest problem I've got here is not, it is that you really needed to bring in more sources and that you, you've got to interact with your classmates on this. Um, overall, not bad.